Knock, knock. I have a package for you. You open the door. I know you might be addicted to online shopping, but all these packages are getting out of hand. Every day, I find several boxes stacked against our mailbox. I'm sure that one of our neighbors is definitely going to take something and you wouldn't notice. I bet Stephen from Floor 69 has taken at least five things from you, including your Lightning McQueen Crocs, because you've been raving on about them, but I've never seen them arrive. Ah, uh, so now your brain clicks? <sighs> okay, well, as your postman, since you don't bother retrieving your own mail anymore, please, for the love of God, reduce your orders. Thanks, buddy. And while I'm here, did you want me to get anything from the store? I'm going to make dinner soon. Alright, suit yourself. I'll return soon. It is now soon. Hey, lamppost. Do you mind helping me out in the kitchen? No, I need someone to help me stir the pot. Of course, it's for the top shelves. The stool we got for me isn't tall enough and I'm scared of ladders. So... Be useful and grab some stuff for me. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, let's see. You can sit at the counter for now while I gather stuff from the fridge. So, how's your week been? I know, awkward question, but I barely see you leave your room. You're not rotting in there, are you? With the lack of sun and social interactions, I'd say you're hermiting more than usual. I get it. Nowadays, it's not worth going outside. With how things are, it isn't safe. And you can practically get anything delivered, so... You know, convenient. Hey, no need to hide things from me. I saw the minion fridge you bought from Japan. That thing can only hold two bottles of water. You could have just used the fridge in the kitchen. But uh, I can't blame you. Bob really is adorable. Jokes aside, I need to take you out of your room more often. Similar to walking a pet, but you're not a pet and you won't be on a collar and a leash. Um... That would be strange. Listen, I'm not an active person, but it's nice to absorb sunlight and get your butt off that damn chair. I can see indents forming on the seat, and I think the material is too weak to bounce back from that. SMH my head. This is why gaming chairs are a scam. They're basically built just to look good, but... Your posture, you're slowly turning into a prawn. Stop doing that. I don't know, get an ergonomic one or even a rocking chair. You're really going to develop back pain from that rotting thing. Fine, but don't complain to me if you wake up with your back all twisted. Huh. 
Huh? What did you just say? My feet can touch the ground, thank you very much. Well, if I sit on the edge, but that's not what we're talking about. It's comfortable resting my back on the backrest. Might as well utilize it. Plus, having my feet dangle off the edge is fun because I can swing them back and forth. Aren't you jelly that I'm able to do that? Because with your legs, I'm sure you're not able to. Hmm, that's what I thought, loser. Oh, right, the food. Um, so, tonight's dinner will be simple since I'm feeling pretty lazy today. Come on, I basically cook every day, and I'm currently in culinary school. This would be a mini break from all the usual fancy dishes I make. Yeah, exactly, and you're going to be my taste tester. Well, I accidentally burnt my tongue on some hot tea earlier today, and it's messing up my taste buds. So I will entrust you with the flavors, got it? I love your enthusiasm. Okay, let me take out the recipe book. We are going to be making heart-shaped lasagna and for dessert, how about brownies with ice cream? Does that sound good to you? What? Yeah, heart-shaped lasagna. Obviously, it's going to be made in this heart-shaped dish. Look at it! It's pink and cute. It was in the discount section and I could not pass it up. I don't care if you think it's stupid. You're going to be eating out of it too. The taste matters much more than the presentation anyway. Good, I'm glad we were able to come to terms with eating such a quote-unquote girly lasagna. Okay, here are the onions, garlic, carrot, and the celery. Uh, do you mind cutting them up for me? I'll prepare the beef and stuff. Yeah, cut them just like that. You're doing great. Oh, you know, my parents called asking how you were. They also kept calling about setting us up. They really like you and are worried that I'm too picky and that I'll end up forever alone. Have your parents ever cared about those kind of things? Yeah, thought so. My parents are so weird. Well, obviously, they'll act normal and nice to you. They're always bringing you gifts and stuff. They never gift me anything. On the phone, they asked me if it was acceptable to gift you? Me. Me. They're offering a live human being to you. And... Ah, that makes me so... I... Don't really have a problem with it. Well, I have a problem with the offering, but I don't have a problem being with you. It 
It's not like you're an awful person, and I like spending time with you. Besides, I don't plan on having kids in the future, and you probably don't too, right? So, there won't be any little creatures with a mix of our DNAs. Might as well save all that baby money on travelling and food. Ah, food, my beloved. Wait, now that I think about it, would our kids be tall or short? Or average size? Yeah, I mean, you're so tall and I'm so short. It's just funny to think about. Oh, what if we're hanging out together in public? Like, going on dates and stuff? Do you think people would stare? Oh, come on. It's hilarious. I mean, look at us. We're like a comedy duo. I barely reach your shoulders. Hmm. But you like shorter girls, don't you? I suppose it never mattered, but you'd enjoy having a short girlfriend. Because, like, come on. You get a girlfriend. Who are you to be picky? Oh, you're done cutting up the vegetables? Um... Then, can you open the cans of sauce, please? Thank you. Uh, what else can you do? You can work on the brownie mix, since we need to break it later. I'm sure you'd love doing this. No, it's fine. I don't want you to do too much work. Uh, just give me a sec, I need to go to the fridge. No, shut up, I got this. Damn, why does this fridge have to be so tall? My arms aren't long enough to reach in. <sighs> you know what, fine. C c can you help me, please? Yeah, the one on the right. Okay, thanks. Ugh, I just want to not rely on you all the time. Well, one, I feel bad. I'm, like, using you for my personal gain. Do I need to start tipping you every time I ask for help? Do you think that'll make me feel less guilty? Hmm, yeah, you're right. I guess I am overthinking. Alright, whatever. Little panic over. I'll start assembling the Lascanini. Pass over the sheets, please. Thank you. What? Do you have a problem with something? <laughs> you look really offended. Oh, uh, is it because I said Luskinini? <laughs> Come on, it was just a joke. Like, you know, lasagna, lasagne, lasagnini, lasagni. Lasogna, los, los, I give up. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. I'll stop joking about it. I know you love your lasagna very, very much. Um, hey, I have a serious question. I know we don't really delve into serious topics because I like to keep our conversation, light and positive, but 
Do you ever feel insecure about your height? Like people always talk about it, ask if you play basketball or volleyball, or like, I don't know, make fun of it? I know I tease you about it, but you don't mind, right? Okay, thank God. If you ever have a problem though with my、um, fake insults, feel free to scold me. You're fine with my teasing because we are friends, right? You don't like it when others tease you? Oh, um, why? Is it because they come up with meaner but better insults than me? It's a secret? Aw, come on. Just tell me. It's nothing weird, right? Hmm, <laughs> well, I won't pry too much. I shall respect your boundaries. But if you ever have any、um, pent up emotions and stuff, you can always tell me, okay? That's the least I can do. I want to be there for you, and I don't want you to think no one cares about you. Because I do care, okay? Now let's hurry up and put this in the oven. I'm starving. And don't you dare eat that brownie batter. Last time it happened, and oh my god, you know, stop doing that. I don't know what else to say.